2. Shi Fahi of Puban During the Jin dynasty Shi Fahi, originally from Xingyang, was a school friend of Daoan at young age and known for his modesty and thoughtfulness. He was good at marking the outlines as well as comprehending and solving subtle questions. Because of the Shi family's rebellion, he went with disciples to Sichuan where people admired and came to pay tribute to him. After hearing of the fall of Xiangyang, he entered the Guanzhong area and abided in Pingyang Temple. Later, he held assemblies at Jinyu Valley and used to climb up to mountain crests and look into distant scenery with Daoan. After the outlook, Shi Fahi sighed out of sadness. This mountain is extremely high. Many people come for tourism. However, when death befalls, who knows where they will be reborn? Daoan said, if a master can uphold his mind, why would he worry about the next life? In the case that the mind of true wisdom does not arise, that will be pathetic. Later, Shi Fahi and Daoan reviewed the newly translated scriptures. They discussed and revised the rendering together. Soon, on the invitation of Yao Shu, a prince of the later Qin dynasty, he went to preach the Dharma in Puban. Shortly afterwards, he told his disciples, Worldly entanglements engender a lot of afflictions, too many sufferings and fetters. Thereupon he dressed up, walked around the Buddha statue, prostrated to the Buddha, then sat back on his seat, put clothes on his head, and died quietly at the age of 80.